Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a super strappy back sports bra. You can either use a halter bra and turn it into this or a sports bra. All you need is the base piece and then spaghetti straps um, that you can make. Super easy to make, not a problem, or a lot of times you can buy it at the store so you can have the same color or you can buy different color um, you know, at some fabric store or something like that. But they're really easy to make, spaghetti straps, in case you want to just make them on your own. Uh, this particular one, we've taken the sports bra, made it into loops here, and then looped through all the straps. Super easy to do, so we're gonna show you how to do that today. So what we've done first is I have taken a halter bra. You can use a sports bra. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that, if it's a sports bra, do the same thing. Turn it into a loop. Fold it over the back, just like this. And then pin it, giving yourself enough room when you sew it that you can put something through it, okay? So we're gonna pin that down. And then on this side, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. You wanna make sure it's the same distance on all of it. I would suggest like a half inch, you can even go a little bit further, and you'll want to make sure that the back strap doesn't show through. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take that, let's move this over a smidge, and we're going to figure out what's the size loop we want. On this particular one we're doing, let's see, let's say three-fourths of an inch. That'll help me get straps through super easy. We're going to put it on zigzag, and pull that needle out so I can sew it. I'm using a different color thread as usual so that you can really see where I'm sewing, okay? So let's, let's go ahead and start. And we're gonna back up. And back up at the front and the, the beginning and the end of it. Let's cut some of those strings so you can get a little bit closer of a look. But now you can see, see how we did that? And we made a loop. So basically, we can feed something through, just like that, right there. So then what we're gonna do is we'll take and we'll feed the loops through. I'm gonna do one, because it'll make it easier for you to see. And you'll feed that through. We'll be able to cut this extra away. See how that's fed through like that? And then now that can go over the back and loop up. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you'll put this on whoever's wearing it. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pin it into place, wherever it is that is comfortable, because this will now become the straps. So you wanna make sure that there's enough support on that. So let's go ahead put it on the mannequin, and then I'll show you how to do that process, okay? Okay, so for this part, what I've done is I've put it back on the mannequin, and you put this on a girl, but remember, don't use a spray pin, use a safety pin, so when she pulls it off, nobody's stabbing themselves. So what we've done is I've taken the front where I've looped it through, as you can see, and then I put the two straps across the back like this. Now in doing that, you wanna make sure that it's spaced evenly apart, and that it's taunt enough that it's gonna hold the sports bra up comfortably for whoever it is. Now, I've done it with just two straps. I know the other one I did a lot more, but visually it's a lot easier to see this. So what I've done is I put the strap here and pinned it to where I like it. Now, if you're doing multiple straps, just make sure that they're spaced evenly. A lot of times, um, what I'll do is either use my finger for a finger distance, so put it in and then use a finger in this. Two fingers, two fingers, I know the distance is the same. Sometimes you can take a piece of cardboard or something so that you're also going across making sure that you're getting the same distance. Something else you'll want to consider when you're doing it, do you want to weave these under every other? Do you want one side all under, one side not? It does make it a little trickier if they're weaved, getting it on and off, so just remember that. Um, but once you've pinned it into place and you have it, you'll just take it off and zigzag these straps down. And it's really that easy. Have fun, play with it, make your own unique brand. Be you, be just have fun with the whole thing. 
Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're going to have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you want to get our free, complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewear.com slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video. And remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.